Hi, welcome to the Air Manager API tutorial video series. In this video, we're going to be talking about scroll wheel. So we're on the API page again. Here you can see the scroll wheel uh, functions. There are two main functions for scroll wheel. A scroll wheel add horizontal, H-O-R, or scroll wheel add vertical, V-E-R. Essentially the format of the uh, functions themselves is exactly the same you just get the different horizontal or vertical uh, format when you see it on the uh, on the instrument screen some mouse uh, setting and touch settings that we'll have a look at uh, very briefly that apply to uh, scroll wheel and then the usual move visible opacity and viewport rect as scroll wheel is in fact uh, uh, node but we've covered that in uh, a previous video so we won't be talking about that in this video so let's have a quick look at the uh, form of the uh, function and how it's made up um, you can see um, it's a little bit different to some of the others quite a lot of arguments uh, to get through for um, scroll wheel but fairly basic stuff so we give it an ID as usual at the very beginning and then we specify our add, whether it be a horizontal or a vertical uh, add. We give it the name of our segment image. So the scroll we have made up is made up of lots of little segments. You'll see how that works out in a minute when we display the uh, instrument. But essentially, each one is like a little knolled area of of like a a, a rotary switch, say like on a on a VS dial uh, on a on a Jets autopilot. So that's what each of the little segment images represents, and they're knitted together to form a big long uh, scroll wheel. The X and the Y is where you want the actual scroll wheel to to appear in your image. So fairly self-explanatory, as we've seen with lots of the other um, X and Ys previously. The width and the height is the size of the overall scroll wheel. So um, how wide you want the uh, scroll scroll wheel to be, and how high you want it to be. Obviously, there'll be uh, different numbers and swapped over from a horizontal or a vertical and then the segment width and height so this specifies the width and height of that segment image that you uh, specified at the very uh, beginning in the first argument there so the segment width and the segment height how big each of those individual little segments that are knitted together and so all it will do it was just add all these segments um, to make up your total either width or height depending on if it's a vertical or a horizontal one you'll see how that works in just a minute and then a callback at the uh, very end um, so that basically whenever the scroll wheel is uh, manipulated um, it will call this callback and as with some of the other or lots of the other functions um, you get a one or a minus one depending on which direction the scroll wheel has been uh, rotated um, and you can see down here in the arguments um, um, page here we're looking at the horizontal one here you can see here it says a direction argument is supplied where minus one is left and one is right and there's a corresponding minus one and one for, for up and down I'm not sure which way around it is but you'll see when we get into that um, you just get a different result depending on which direction so let's delve into the um, the code that we've got set up here to demonstrate. Um, so we'll start with uh, just looking at the. I've got I've got two uh, set up here. I've got a horizontal and a vertical. But we we'll start by just looking at the horizontal one. They're essentially the same, but um, we'll do something a little bit different with the vertical one in just a minute. So we've set up our ID here. So scroll wheel underscore ID. I've named it. Scroll wheel add horizontal, and then we're going to say. Um, we'll give it our segment name so I've called our little segment uh, segment underscore H for horizontal dot PNG we're gonna say that we want the um, actual scroll wheel itself to start 20 pixels in from the left of our instrument and 80 pixels uh, down so just a little bit in from the left and about halfway down well we want it to be 160 pixels wide um, and 40 pixels higher so quite long about 40 pixels higher 
and then each of the individual segments this segment underscore h dot png we want them to be just 10 pixels wide and 40 pixels so you can see I've made the segment height there the same as the actual height of the um, the scroll wheel there you could make the scroll wheel probably uh, a little bit bigger if you wanted to um, it would just mean that the the area that you can uh, click is um, larger than the actual um, image the segment image itself and then the name of the uh, callback uh, on the end will underscore callback I've called it you can see I'm, I'm using the same un uh, callback there for the uh, vertical one so we'll comment the horizontal one out in a minute and we'll uh, we'll have a look at the vertical one so with the wheel um, callback function then that I've specified here you can see it returns a direction again I've called it dir and then in our code very similarly to some of the previous examples that we've looked at for other things like um, switches and dials um, we're just looking at the the called back information and we're actioning uh, on um, whatever information that is so in this case we're saying if the direction is one because we're looking at the um, the horizontal one, we're gonna we're gonna print a uh, right, and you can see I've got there just in the comments it's right or down. So if it's if it would be a vertical one, that would be the equivalent of you uh, moving the control down. Um, and then if the direction is uh, minus one, then print left. And again, I've got in the comments there it would be left for a horizontal or up would be the equivalent if it was a vertical you'll see what we'll do when we comment these other ones out in a minute and we have a look at that don't worry about the uh, this VVI bit too much or this uh, explain ref that's when we're going to look at the vertical we're going to have a little uh, control of uh, the uh, sim and I'll show you how uh, you can use that for the operation of a, uh, an instrument within the sim or control should I say so let's go ahead and run this uh, instrument and you'll see what it looks like so because we've selected horizontal obviously it's a horizontal one so each one of these uh, our segment is essentially this gray band with a little thin black line down each side so it knits that these all together there uh, to make to fill up the full 160 pixels and it just looks like a, um, a scroll wheel um, as you can see there now I think I've got it set up for touch at the moment so what we'll go ahead and do is I'll touch I'll touch this uh, scroll wheel and you can see me move it uh, to the right and it's saying right up there in our console and I'll scroll it to the left you can just see the image scrolling there and it's saying left so right left right left right left now you can see that's actually quite sensitive I've on, I'm only actually moving that uh, a little bit uh, there and it's it's giving me the right and the left callback one of the abilities uh, you have with the touch and the mouse settings is you can set how often those callbacks are called how much you actually you you actually have to need to move your um, mouse in the case of the mouse setting or your finger with the touch uh, setting that you actually have to move it a, a little bit more to actually get a callback similar to the uh, um, sensitivity or the uh, rotate um, tick settings uh, say for dial so it it sort of gives a similar uh, function and we'll have a look at these in a minute you can see these in the code they're currently commented out when we go ahead and look at the vertical one so let's do that right now let's comment that uh, horizontal one out and let's uncomment our vertical one and then we'll go ahead and uncomment these other ones we don't need that left anymore so we can get rid of that completely and the right okay so what we've got now then is we've we've set up for a vertical one and again all of these um, parameters here uh, the arguments in this uh, function function um, are set up with the X Y and the width and the heights there to give a similar sized um, scroll wheel but this time vertically in the middle of the instrument here and we use the same callback the wheel underscore callback and this time we're using a different uh, segment so all it is is this, uh, rather than it be uh, a little tall uh, segment this way it's a, another little segment but it's a little horizontal one so you can, when they're they're knitted together it will provide you a big long vertical um, scroll wheel so if we go ahead and um, run that 
you can see there's the result of that scroll wheel. So what we're doing now in the callback is uh, essentially the same thing. Um, now when we when we uh, when we get this direction one, remember I said that would be a down. Interestingly, I'm printing the word nose up. Now that kind of relates. If we uh, pull up the sim now, you can see I've got the um, the VS um, autopilot speed control, uh, uh, speed control, um, the uh, VS control here up in the uh, sim, and you can see that when you click it up as I'm doing here with the little arrow that's appearing there's up the numbers actually getting smaller because actually that's nose down yeah so we're actually asking the uh, nose of the aircraft to go down and then when we pull it down that's actually nose up hence why in my code here although the operation of the scroll wheel is down it's actually nose up and here the operation of the scroll wheel is up but it's actually nose down and hence the numbers are minus 100 feet and plus 100 feet so every time we operate that scroll wheel we should see our uh, our number so we've actually got an air manager instrument now where we've got the, the equivalent scroll wheel here in the sim and as we can control can uh, control this uh, this set point with our scroll wheel in the sim we can do likewise with the uh, the scroll wheel that we've created in air manager and then obviously an X uh, an X plane data ref right to actually send that revised um, VVI number uh, out to the sim. So let's see if uh, if that works. Whoops. So there we are with our sim. Now we've got this on touch again still. So when we go up, see I'm scrolling up with my finger, and you can see the image in on the air management instrument is going up and so is the scroll wheel in the sim it's going up and we're going nose down so the numbers getting more negative we come back the other way so you can see how you can have an equivalent scroll wheel within air manager okay so that's essentially the uh, the operation of the scroll wheel. What we'll do now is we'll have a quick look at the because uh, we're set up for touch first. We'll have a look at the touch setting. The, the touch setting now we give it our ID. So the, on the particular one for vertical, we've called it scroll wheel underscore ID two, which you can see here. And then the the property. Let's go just have a look at back at the um, wiki page very quickly. Um, when we go back to uh, scroll wheel and look at um, touch settings you can see for the scroll wheel there is only actually one that can be applied and that's this one here which is called scroll tick and this value determines the number of pixels between two scroll wheel callbacks so essentially what um, we've got here is this number here so we'll, tra we'll have to travel 40 pixels with our finger before it will generate a callback. So again, you can adjust that number to give you a, um, a better response from your... Um, let's have a look now, see what happens now. And if I make that number a little higher, say 100... I have to move my finger a lot further to get it to generate a callback and then similarly if we just change over to mouse setting here very quickly and uncomment this mouse setting this does a similar job the number here will mean that you'll have to when the little hand comes up there you'll have to pull that control 40 pixels or so before you actually get a callback and if you make that number smaller then obviously you only got to pull it a lesser amount of pixels to get a callback and obviously each one of our callbacks is changing this by 100 feet so you can adjust the sensitivity uh, to give the uh, the result that you need so I think that's it um, for um, scroll wheel I think that concludes this video 
Um, please join me again uh, for another video in the series soon. Thanks. Bye.